Hey everyone, Matt from MKRC. In today's video, I'm going to take the Burt 124019 and upgrade it to a brushless system, so stick around. To put this little buggy back together, I've gone ahead and picked up a Surpass Hobby motor, a new motor mounting plate, a new pinion gear, a new servo, and a Hobbywing electronic speed controller, which I have changed to an XT90. I'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff installed and we'll check back shortly. So I've got the truck back together and I have the ESC and the new receiver programmed. And I took this thing out for its first run and it wasn't impressive. This is a 3000 kV motor. And there's a really good forum about upgrading these cars from a website called Quantify RC. And essentially what they say is, this is going to be the slowest motor, then there's going to be a 3600 kV, a 4200, a 4500, and so on. This is a learning experience for me. Not knowing how kVs work on these little brushless motors, I went ahead and chose what I could get quickly from Banggood or AliExpress. And so I went with this 3000 kV Surpass Hobby motor. Fortunately, there is room for upgrades. I have this Hobbywing Quick Run 2435-4500 kV motor, which sounds like it might be a sweet spot for power if it fits. I am going to attempt to get this motor installed into the little buggy, and then we'll take it out for some speed runs and tests. That is noticeably quicker. So 2S on 4600 kV, what is that, 160 degrees, 160, and it is too hot, 180. too hot to the touch, 180, ooh, warm. So, 3S, 4600 kV, 35 mile an hour top speed. Let's see if we can beat it. Thirty-eight miles an hour. Oh, there we go. I hit. I got two hundred. That's a hot motor. Two oh set. Two twelve. Okay. The truck is now complete. As you saw, I ran it on two S and three S on this forty-six hundred kV motor, as well as the original three thousand kV motor, which I took out. Top speeds of thirty-eight to forty miles an hour on this forty-six hundred kV motor. On a 3S battery, this buggy is incredibly fast, and I think it'll do great on a track. One thing I'm definitely going to have to watch out for is that it gets hot very, very quick, and this motor goes easily over 200 degrees, and that's not good for the longevity of it. So I'll have to look into getting some cooling solution. Fortunately, I have plenty of spare space for a fan on my receiver, so that shouldn't be much of a problem. And uh, overall, this was a pretty fun build. That concludes the brushless upgrade of the WL Toys 124019. This was a long time in the making and I'm glad to finally have it done. As for what to do next, well, I'm definitely gonna leave this body until someone tells me otherwise and I think it's time to get this thing to a track. 
So stick around for more adventures. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.